sandwiches, those delectable little layer cakes of gluten, meat, cheese, and veggies that I love to munch. Tonight will be a double feature of two of my favorites. Technically, I'm recording this across two separate nights, but we're bringing both to you now. Tonight, I'm making Rubens, and I'm making tuna melts. Apricot. Down, buddy. I'm covered in butter. You can't be on the counter right now. Thousand Island dressing on one side and butter on the other. About five tablespoons of mayonnaise substitute, one tablespoon lemon juice, half a teaspoon crushed red pepper, One 12 ounce can of tuna. I was gonna add some chopped dill pickles, but I took a bite of this and they've gone completely flavorless, so we're gonna skip that. It wants like two teaspoons of dried parsley. Pretty sure I have less than that, so I'm just gonna use what I have. Apricot. I'm also adding two teaspoons of garlic seasoning. Lastly, just a sprinkle of salt and pepper. That's looking pretty zesty. I think we're ready to move on to assembly. Slice of cheese, two slices of cooked roast beef, a fourth cup of sauerkraut for each. Could have done a better job of draining this, but apricot rushed me. And then another slice of cheese on each. Maybe I shouldn't have doubled the tuna salad part. Now two slices of tomato and two slices of cheddar cheese on each. Now we just grill these for five minutes on each side. These will go in the toaster for about eight minutes on 400 degrees. It smells really nice. Okay, now it's time to flip. Oh no! Oh good lord. Well that was a disaster. Um, given how dark this came out, I'm gonna cut the cook time in half for the second side. This could have gone better. Looking very melty. Normally at this point, I would try and cut the sandwiches in half. but I fear for their structural integrity. So while I do consider that a vital step, this is extraordinary circumstances. Oh geez, that's messy. I definitely could have done a better job assembling it, mm. but it's pretty tasty. Hey, not cool. Where's my sandwich? Dude, we are literally the same person. You don't need your own sandwich. Fair point, but that being the case, why did you make two of each? To balance time spent on the recipe with food produced. The other sandwich is for lunch tomorrow. It would be a waste to eat it now. We have a hunger. A hunger that only sandwich can satiate. Okay, okay, chill. What the hell? Just, just eat a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was far too much sandwich. Future Zach. Yeah, past Zach. We really need to consider our life choices. How did I make this mistake twice?